This video is for anti-vaxxers. If you're not an anti-vaxxer, feel free to stick around if you're just curious and have questions like I do. Not sure if we'll get the answers, but I'm hoping that we do. So as a pediatrician who obviously is pro-vaccines, I have heard it all from the anti-vaxxers. And I still have a really hard time understanding your thought process. Let me tell you where I'm sort of getting tripped up and all the things that I've heard, and maybe you guys can clarify. So one of the things I hear from you guys all the time is that we're in it for the money. We are getting paid the big bucks to push vaccines. We're getting paid by Big Pharma. We're getting paid by insurance companies. And so all of these pediatricians are just pushing vaccines for the money understand that pediatrics is a very broad term. There are a lot of different types of pediatricians. There are the outpatient pediatricians. There are pediatric hospitalists. That's what I do. I treat patients in the hospital. There are pediatric emergency medicine doctors. There's pediatric other specialties. A very large portion of pediatricians do not even give vaccines. They do not make a penny from vaccines. As a pediatric hospitalist, I have to work a certain amount of shifts per month, and that is what my salary is based on. And if I work an extra shift, I get paid extra for that shift that I work. It does not matter if I see two patients in that shift or if I see 22 patients in that shift. It doesn't matter if all the patients are vaccinated or all the patients are unvaccinated. I get paid the same amount. There are a lot of outpatient pediatricians who are also salary-based and make absolutely nothing from vaccines. There are also outpatient pediatricians who do get paid a small amount of money on vaccines, just like they get paid for any visit, any sick visit, any well visit, any medication that they give. I will tell you one thing, nobody goes into pediatrics to make big money. Pediatrics is one of the lowest paid specialties, and you want to know why? It's because unfortunately in this world that we live in, preventative medicine is not nearly as valued as surgical subspecialties, for example. The key of pediatrics is prevention. Our goal in pediatrics is literally to prevent your child from tragic illnesses, from other tragedies. Do you think we get paid for all of the discussions that we have, for all of the teaching that we have, for talking to you about getting CPR certified, for talking about safe sleep, to not put blankets and pillows and to not co-sleep, do you think that we are making money in some way talking about these things with you? We chose one of the lowest paying specialties because we literally love taking care of children. We want to help you prevent your children from being harmed. So when I am telling you that your pediatric hospitalists, your pediatric emergency medicine doctors, all of the pediatricians who are taking care of your sick kids in the hospital do not make a penny from vaccine companies, yet if you ask any one of them, they will all tell you that they are pro-vaccines, that they are vaccinating their own children. Why do you think that is? Right, so now if you realize that we are not getting paid to promote these vaccines, then there's only two other things that you could believe. One is that all pediatricians and all pediatric subspecialists are just inherently evil, that we all want to harm children, that that is our goal, that we all know that vaccines are terrible and are killing children, and that is our literal goal, including our own children who are all fully vaccinated. So that's one other option. And if that's not it, then the only other option is that you think that we're all just complete idiots that we all believe that these vaccines are saving lives, that we are protecting children, we're protecting our own children, when really it's just so easy to find the information and to see how terrible they are, how dangerous they are, how they are killing children. But after four years of medical school and three years of residency and more years of fellowship, we just can't seem to grasp that. We just, we don't get it. So if you think that we're that dumb, I need to understand why you trust us with emergency care, with care for your child if they end up in the hospital. If your child ends up seizing and they're in status epilepticus and they're having a seizure for 20, 25 minutes and they come into the emergency room, they are probably gonna get a benzodiazepine. Are you gonna be asking about the side effects of that medication in that moment? Because I'll tell you, they can be some really bad side effects. They can actually make your child stop breathing stop the seizure in that moment, your child can eventually have brain damage or maybe just not make it out alive. So you trust us then to make a decision on what medication, at what dose, how to treat the side effects if there are side effects. 
right? If your child needs to be sedated and intubated, they're gonna be on multiple drips, all of which, if not titrated appropriately, could result in respiratory depression, in cardiac arrest, but you trust us in those moments. Why? Because it's life or death? Because you can't spray some essential oils on it and hope for the best? Right? You're all ready to shit talk us when we're talking prevention, when we talk about safe sleep, when we talk about water safety, when we talk about cutting up grapes to make sure that your child doesn't choke because we are literally traumatized by the cases that we see in the emergency department, or when we talk about vaccinating your children. You don't trust our knowledge then, but you trust us to save your child's life in the event of an emergency using the same evidence-based medicine, the same evidence-based practices that we use when we make decisions that vaccines are safe and effective. I don't get it. I would really like to know your thought process. Can't be one because you know we're not getting paid to promote vaccines. So it's number two or number three. We're all inherently evil and trying to kill all the babies, including our own. Or number three, we're all idiots who have no idea what we're doing. And in that case, I'm really not sure why you're coming to us for anything else. Oh, and also, if somebody approached me and told me that I could get paid to promote something that I promote for free all the time because I believe in it wholeheartedly, I would do it because I already do it for free. What I would never do and what any good pediatrician and physician with morals would never do is promote something that has not been well studied that could be potentially harmful no matter what sum of money was offered. And if you saw my inbox with the amount of emails that I receive to get paid literally the big bucks to promote supplements and other things that have never been studied or proven to be safe or effective, you would know that I would never ever sell my soul for any amount of money if it meant putting even one child in harm's way. 